Creek. It was an awesome song to jam along with. And you can jam along with the original song. And we are tuned to an open G. And this is a CBG lesson for a four string or a three string. And I'll show you the difference in the chords. The low string is going to be a G. The next string is going to be a D. Next string will be another G. The upper string will be a B. go over the uh, chords we're going to be using. There's not a whole lot of them, but um, I'm going to go over those and I'll show you the uh, strumming patterns and I'll show you the little intro. Um, <clears throat> now, for the four string players, the chords I show you are just the chords that I like to play along with this song. You can use other chord shapes if you want. So, anyway, we're going to play an A chord. For the four string players, I like to use this A chord right here. We'll take our middle finger on the seventh fret on the D string. Middle finger on the sixth fret on the upper G string. Index finger on the fifth fret on the B string. And all three together as a chord. A chord. Okay, we're going to play this D chord for the four string players. We're going to hit the D string open, index finger on the 2nd fret on the upper G string, ring finger on the 3rd fret on the uh, B string, and all three together as a chord. Okay, for the 4 string players, we're going to play this E chord. Take our index finger on the uh, second fret on the D string for that E note. Our ring finger on the fourth fret on the upper G string. And our pinky on the fifth fret on the B string. And all three together as a chord. We're just, it's just a seventh. We're, we're, you know, the good old rock and roll E chord right here on the second fret. Just gonna augment our pinky right there on the fifth fret on the B string. Makes a nice trebly sounding uh, e, e chord. Okay, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> we're gonna play an E sharp minor for the four string players. We're gonna take our ring finger on the fourth fret on the D string, and with our index finger, we're gonna hold down on the second fret the upper G string and the B string. So. All three together as a chord. F sharp minor. Um, and we're going to play an open G. We're just going to strike all four strings open. And I think that's it. Uh, for the three string players, um, we'll just play the regular A right here on the second fret. You hold down all three strings on the second fret, the uh, low, low G, the D, and the upper G. For that A that four string players are going to play right here. Now like I said, four string players can play the A right here if you want. That's up to you. I like them a little more trebly in the song because, you know, they're playing trebly notes in their chords, so why not? Um, Alright, again, the A. 
Um, let's see, again, open G is just all three strings open for the three string players. Um, the E is just a regular E chord for uh, three string CVGs. We're going to take our index finger on the first fret on the upper G string, middle finger on the second fret on the D string, and our pinky on the fourth fret on the low G string. E chord. Um, we're going to play the F sharp minor. It's going to be a little stretch, but when you, you just practice it a little bit and it'll just start coming more easy. Um, we're going to take our index finger on the second fret on the upper G string, you know, middle finger on the uh, fourth fret on the D string and our pinky on the 6th fret on the low G string. F sharp minor for 3 string players. Um, I'll show you a little easy way to slide into that chord later in the song when that part comes up. Um, D chord. Um, regular D chord on a 3 string. We'll take our whatever fingers you want to use. I'll use my middle finger on the uh, low G string on the second fret. That A note, I'm going to strike the D string open. Take your ring finger on the uh, second fret on the upper G string, that other A note. Play a D chord like that. Um, I think that's it. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, okay, we're going to get started now. I'm going to show you the very intro, and this works for both four-string and three-string players, so three-string don't have to miss out on the intro. So we're going to come up to the um, seventh fret on the low G string, with our index finger. We're going to strike it once. We're going to come up to the ninth fret on the low G string, strike it once. And then we're going to come up to the D string, on the 5th fret, strike it once, like this, now we're going to do it again, now when we hit this uh, note right here, on the uh, D string, on the 5th fret, we're going to hammer up to the 7th uh, fret on the D string, like this, and we're going to do one of each like this we're going to do it again and that's the little intro so more up to speed just like that. Um, okay, we're going to go into that A chord for the four string players. Um, now, you can play this or strum it however you want. The way I did it at the intro right there, that's just kind of strumming it. I want to show you the actual way that he plays it as opposed to just strumming it and having fun with it if you want to be a little more technical about it. So, we'll take that A chord. We'll go to the D chord. Back to the A chord again. Now we're going to go to that E chord. Back to the A chord. Back to the D. Back to the A. To the E. That's the entire verse. We only do that two times. Now we're going to go back. Now we're going to go into the chorus. We're going to go back to the A. 
to the D. Now right here we go to the E. Now right here we go to that F sharp minor. Now we're going to strike the open G. I do that four times. The first one I kind of rake into the next three. And that's right where they come uh, come in with uh, the little Snoopy harp. You know, like Snoopy playing the old uh, Peanuts movies. Uh, yeah, and then we go right back into that again. So, um, I'll just play through that real quickly one time to show you how it all fits together. But, here we go. Three string players. Earlier I said I'd show you a little easier way to uh, get used to that F sharp minor. Because for the chorus here, you would go from the uh, A to the D to the E to that F sharp minor to the open G. Um, when you go to that E right there in the uh, chorus, you go from the A to the D to the E. Well, you see how you're forming that E chord right there? You already have, uh, you have your middle finger and your pinky, you already have a fret between those two. Um, just move that up to the uh, middle finger on the 4th fret on the D string and your pinky low G string on the 6th fret and you still have a fret in between but it's even smaller now and it's easier to do that stretch but when you go from that E your, pink, your index finger is already right there when you move up just kinda drag your index finger and kinda leave it there on the 2nd fret and by the time you get up to the 4th and 6th fret with the other fingers, your index finger should just be sliding right there where you can fret that note also. I'm just saying this, it might help, but it's kind of like... Just kind of go up, it gets a little easier as you're stretching, the frets get smaller, just kind of leave your index finger on the 2nd fret and... And hit the open G. Um, so yeah, all the strumming is the same. Now I'm going to show you the more technical way he does it, or pretty much the exact way he does it if you want to do this. But, okay, when they do the intro, what uh, Robbie's doing is He's taking that A note right there. <clears throat> He's not strumming it. Um, that's just if you want to just strum it and be easy about it, the way I just showed you strumming those chords. But he's just going to down pick it like that A chord. Just kind of mute it. Go to the D chord. Just kind of mute it. Now when he goes back to the A, he strikes it twice. Twice again. To the E. Twice. Again. Then he goes back into the uh, A chord. He starts down picking it again. To the D. Back to 
today. Now right here he does the two times. Back to the E. Then uh, the way I then he goes into the chorus and I just kind of uh, I'll write a little bit and strum it a little bit because it sounds like he starts uh, he's still riding down picking it right there but he's kind of adding in some uh, little chords uh, playing the actual chord and picking notes out of the chords so I'll leave that up to you because I, I play a little different every time but you go back into the chorus So I'll kind of go through that real slow there, that one part, so you're just going to kind of ride it. the entire song um, the only other parts is towards the end of the song um, now each time they do they play the little Snoopy harp they do that then you go right back into the verse it's real quick do the verse two times do the chorus and then same thing over again uh, I think after the uh, third verse I uh, know the third chorus they're going to um, they're going to uh, go from the A chord to the D chord, back to the A chord, to the D chord, to the A, to the D, one more time, four times. Um, and that's where he does the uh, his yodeling, I guess, <laughs> you know, whatever kind of yodeling he does there. Uh, so we're just going to, uh, now this is going to be kind of quick, so it's... Yeah, four times, and then right back. You know, depending on how you want to play the verse. Either way, I showed you. Um, yeah, right back into the verse, then to another chorus, and then right after that chorus, they do the little Snoopy harp again. Then now they're going to end the song the same way when he's yodeling. That part, you're going from the A to the D. Three string players, you're going from the A to the D. From the A to the D. You know, you're just... how the song just ends and that's how the song fades out you're just going from the A to the D and he's yodeling and doing all that this is a really awesome and fun song especially if you can sing I can't sing so I don't even sing along when I'm by myself but I like to play along and it's really fun so hope you all enjoy this one and I'll get back soon with another one thanks for watching